I got a re request from one of uh, my online uh, on YouTube friends, uh, Lee Rolf, about how I install a ridgeline on my uh, uh, Equip mosquito hammock. This is the stuff she's going to need basically to get to get this done. You're going to need this kit you can purchase a lot of places. I picked this one up at uh, Harbor Freight. I think it was like four bucks or less. It uh, It's a grommet kit. Pretty simple thing to, to operate. Comes with uh, items that will cause it, that will uh, compress everything. Comes with a hole cutter in it here. And then you pick up some uh, of the poly pro strapping, first grain, whatever you want to call this. That's one inch. And it's what you need there. And you also need whatever you're going to use for line. In my case, I use some 550 cord, but you can use whatever you, you, you're happy with. Okay, now you get to the actual item installed. What we did was we took some of the gross grain, kept one inch squares, and we punched holes in them to fit the grommet in. Sewed them onto the bug nut here, right underneath the center pullout. In our case, we actually took a rubber grommet here, too, to go inside this grommet because this was a lot of slop in here and we didn't want any bugs coming in. But you don't really need to do that. That's just an optional item. Once you've done that, you did it on both ends. Once you've done that, I just took and tied a loop in it and then looped it in here and basically locked headed it in, fished it through, put it back out the other end over here. And in my case, I just put it around the end here, and then I've got uh, a taut line hitch right here to, to, so I can adjust it. Um, once I get this to the point where I really know where I want it, then I'll just you know, make it a permanent fit up here. On this particular hammock, we have these pullouts. They initially went high on uh, the trees or what have you to, to keep this thing up and, and, and taut the way it is, but with, with the ridge line is pretty much going to hold it in place. I was able to do away with all that and just hook it here as a permanent thing right here and it just stays. And every time I set the thing up I don't have to hassle with it or nothing. I just hook this thing up here and I'm ready to go. Another way you could do it would be to put a prusik here, run it through the center loop here, then run your rod through it. When you run the rod through it it holds it in place then you can adjust it whichever way you want. You do kind of have to slide it if you use rubber grommet. Now one other thing you want to do is, on this particular hammock, because it's such a high net, you don't want to have this thing down here, the uh, ridge line down here, because it's going to sit real, real close to you. Although there's a lot of room inside, so really you've still got still be plenty clear. But what I did is run it, took the original line here out. It was a mess, and, and we had a, uh, the, the beaner right here. And what we did was just took it out, and uh, use a double fisherman's knot here, and then linked it through and Lark's headed it on. Brought it up here and tied a knot up in this in this area right here so that it'll keep the ridge line up high. Put the ridge line on there and put my beaner through it to get into my straps, and we're ready to go. Inside here, this particular hammock came with no storage whatsoever inside. So inside here we've got the ridge line runs through. We put a couple mitten hooks on here, ridge line organizer, and, uh, and accessories. This thing's real nice. It holds my, my fan in place, or I can put my phone up there if I want to watch something or to listen to things. And it runs through the other side over here and right on out. It's real nice. Nice setup. And that's all there is to it. Really nothing much to do. Stays up nicely. A lot of room inside there. So I hope that helps you, Lee. All right, I have an oh by the way, after reviewing the thing, I realize I hadn't made it totally clear here. What we've got here is two pieces of this gross grain cut in one inch squares, and they're sandwiched with the net in between. So basically you sew, you put them together, pin them together, sew the thing through, and you just open a slot up here on the side of the zipper, and you, you sew it on, you sew it on in there. 
and then you put your grommet in there after cutting the opening so that the grommet slides through and then you see it you punch your grommet tight so it's it's secure and you're ready to go um, I had forgotten that uh, it's something that is obvious but you know sometimes the obvious doesn't doesn't show up doesn't stand out and I'd hate to see somebody go and just put this on the side so it attach it and have this rip this net out but this seals it up real nice and stays tight all right and as you can see it's basically being that net's basically being held up by the ridge line and it's it does a nice job and it is does a ton of room inside this thing it's a lot of room <laughs> 